Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today it is Season 1, Episode 36, Mink, starring Ruth Hussey as Paula. And in my opinion, this is just an average watchable episode. It's entertaining enough, uh, at least for a one-time watch, but it does feel a little bit repetitive in places. So we start with our main character, Paula, and she goes into an appraisal shop, and she wants to have a mink appraised because she's not sure what it's worth, which seems innocent enough, except the two men that work in the shop talk, and they seem to recognize this mink as something that another lady named Mrs. Wilson bought, and they suspect that Paula stole it. So they phone the police, and one of the shopmen tries to stall Paula by asking her questions about the mink, but she leaves, so one of the men follows her, and that's the basic setup for our episode. And uh, you do have to question as a viewer that if Paula really stole this mink, would she really go back to the same shop to have it appraised? Seems like something more is up, which we'll find out it is. So we go to the next scene where Paula is talking to a lady about the mink, and the lady uh, mentions how the mink gives you status and can make you be treated differently or seen in a different light, which is one of the themes that we'll find out uh, is relevant to the episode. So then we go to another scene where Paula is chatting with two other ladies um, about the mink in another room, and we find out that one is an undercover policewoman, and the other lady is Mrs. Wilson, who the fur was supposedly stolen from. So at this point, Paula is accused of stealing the mink by the policewoman, but when Mrs. Wilson is questioned about this, she seems to... Uh, her, her description of the jacket doesn't necessarily line up correctly with the one that Paula's wearing, which makes us think that maybe Mrs. Wilson is in on this is, uh, in some way, which we'll find out isn't true later on. And basically, Paula doesn't have any proof that the, the mink is hers either, because she says she bought it secondhand, and therefore she has no receipt. So at this point, the episode does a decent job of keeping us guessing. Unfortunately, the middle of the episode is where I think it kind of bogs down a little bit. So at this time, Paula says, well, I can prove to you um, where I got this, and uh, another police officer questions her, basically, and she says, we'll go to see the girl that I bought this from, and she can straighten all this out. So they do go to see this girl, whose name is Dolores, and the girl acts like she has absolutely no clue what's going on. She doesn't know anything about this. Uh, she basically contradicts everything that Paula says. And I have to say, I think this scene went on a little bit too long. They just re keep repeating the same thing basically over and over with Paula insisting with no proof what's going on. But I do have to say that the girl's answers come a little bit too quickly and without much thought. And we as an audience are suspicious of the girl. So it was well done. I thought it was just a little on the long side. So at this point, the police are suspicious, but I'm not, you're not really sure what they're thinking. So that part was done pretty well. So they decide to question another woman uh, at, a, at a beauty shop, basically. And this woman basically goes through the same thing. She basically denies and contradicts everything that Paula says. So naturally, Paula gets very upset about this and she leaves with the police. And at this point, the lady from the beauty shop picks up the phone and, and calls the girl Dolores and you can tell that they're in on some kind of plot and that they lied. Basically, they know a lot more than they say. And also, a man named Charlie is involved, we learn, as well, which will be very important uh, later in the episode. So at this point, we go back to Paula's place, and she makes a statement. Uh, and she basically asks the police to leave, and she's getting even more upset at this point. So... Then a man named uh, Jonas comes by, he says his name is in. He makes an offer uh, to Paula, he says, to buy the, the mink for more money than she paid for it, basically to get it back for Mrs. Wilson to make her happy. But Paula's not buying this and she tells the guy to leave. So then he says he lied, his name is really Charlie, so he's the Charlie that was mentioned earlier, and that he stole the mink and he gives a guilt story about how he can't get caught. And we also find out that Mrs. Wilson really didn't know about this, so I guess it was her mink all the time, and I guess Paula really did buy it secondhand, so this is really all Charlie's doing, basically. So at this point, they're still talking. Paula asks him to leave, but she gets distracted when the phone rings, and basically Charlie takes the jacket at this point. So Paula knows she's now in trouble. She calls the police and tells the story, and when the police officer 
comes by. She explains to him that she really wanted the mink to improve her image and help her and her husband out. And it seems like she kind of regrets it now and that she's learned her lesson as she kind of breaks down. The policeman then explains to her that they caught Charlie based on her lead. So the truth is out. And when Paula's husband calls, she seems very happy to hear from him and realizes that uh, the relationship is more important than the material possession. So it's a lesson well learned and everything ends okay for Paula. So just a pretty average episode all the way around. Like I said, nothing great about it, nothing terrible about it. It's just kind of there. So overall, I find Mink to be a watchable episode and I give it a two and a half out of five. So just a decent episode of Alfred Hitchcock Presents. So a two and a half out of five for Mink. And as always, thank you very much for watching.